asteroid danger. A killer rock hit our Earth 12,800 years ago, creating an ice age, and it could happen again. Sebastian Ketley of Express UK reports an asteroid impact or comet impact 12,800 years ago sparked an extinction level event of large animals across the globe and the likelihood of this happening again could be very real for the future, scientists have shockingly claimed. The killer asteroid believed to have struck northern Greenland during a period of Earth's history known as the Younger Dryas. The cataclysmic collision triggered global cooling of the climate that was felt in North America, South America, and Europe. Researchers in South Africa believe the cataclysm contributed to mass extinction of species at the end of the last ice age, the Pleistocene epoch. A terrifying takeaway from this discovery is another such impact could happen in the future, causing almost the same things, regardless of how low the probability seems right now. The discovery was published in the journal Paleontologia Africana. Professor Francis Thackeray, an anthropologist from the University of Witwatersrand, Johannesburg, believes the discovery supports the Younger Dryas extinction theory. He said, our findings at least partially support the highly controversial Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. We seriously need to explore the view that an asteroid impact somewhere on Earth may have caused climate change on a global scale and contributed to some extent to the process of extinction of large animals at the end of the Pleistocene, after the last ice age. Professor Thackeray led a team of researchers to dig at uh, Limpopo province, north of Pretoria in South Africa. The researchers found a platinum spike in geological samples dating back 12,800 years. The samples were linked to a large meteor, which Professor Thackeray said are rich in precious metals. Archaeologists believe the asteroid may have also indirectly impacted human settlements across the plains of Africa. Researchers discovered the so-called Roberg stone artifact industry came to an abrupt end in parts of the country at the time of the impact. Professor Thackeray said without necessarily arguing for a single causal factor on a global scale, we cautiously hint at the possibility that these technological changes in North America and on the African subcontinent at about the same time might have been associated indirectly with an asteroid impact with major global consequences. We can't be certain, but a cosmic impact could have affected humans as a result of local changes in environment and the availability of food sources associated with sudden climate change. The researchers also found evidence of climate change 12,800 years ago at the Wonder Crater Spring Mound in South Africa. Pollen samples, going all the way back to the Younger Dryas, as suggest temperatures plummeted in the Northern Hemisphere, the cooling could have been the result of platinum-rich dust from the asteroid spreading throughout the atmosphere. Professor Thackeray said the most likely point of impact is a 19 mile wide or 31 kilometer crater in Greenland beneath the Hiawatha Glacier. He said there is some evidence to support the view that it might possibly have been the very place where the large meteorite struck the planet some 12,800 years ago if it was indeed the case, there must have been global consequences. The anthropologist uh, added that uh, our evidence is entirely consistent with the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. But unfortunately, there are asteroids flying around the solar system at this very moment that threaten to strike Earth again. One of these rocky bodies is the potentially hazardous asteroid Apophis, 99942. It's a space rock measuring about 1,115 feet and is expected to come 
exceptionally close to Earth in only 10 years. Professor Thackeray said, the closest encounter will take place precisely on Friday, April 13, 2029. The probability of the Apophis 99942 asteroid hitting us then is uh, only one in 100,000, but probably the probability of the impact may be even higher sometime in the future as it comes close to Earth every 10 years. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.